What we're looking at in here is trying to see if we can enrich their feed with something. Omega-3 fatty acids, oh, yeah. commercials and stuff. That's what we're supposed to eat that's good for us, right? Exactly. Yeah. What I was showing Blair in that room was the larvae that we had for a specific experiment, which was a, a feed study. At three days, they have a mouth, they have eyes, and they start feeding. But they have to have a live prey in order to initiate first feeding. So we feed what's called a rotifer. It's just a zooplankton. With the rotifers, whatever we put into the rotifer, it's kind of like a Ziploc bag, the, the feed that we give them. Whatever you put into them is what they have so we can actually manipulate what we enrich them with, what we feed them. Because when they eat it, that's what these guys are gonna end up eating. So what we're doing is we're looking at that fatty acid at different levels to see if it helps the larval survival or if it helps them grow faster. He was telling me he had the ultimate job one day. He had to come in here and catch snook all day long. <laughs> Show him what you were using to catch snook with. <laughs> Catching little larvas. We are extremely grateful for this partnership. These are basically our children, these little snooks, so we want to follow them through and uh, give you updates on how they're doing. And ultimately, our goal is to get these out and have a stocking in the wild to supplement the fishery.